Hello everyone, welcome back. In my last video, we discussed what is numbering, what is early numbering, what is late numbering, or how we can handle this early and late numbering in managed and unmanaged scenario. Now we will write code to implement early numbering in our application. Why we are using early numbering that I have explained already? Because even through our scenario is managed but if managed scenario you want that framework should handle your numbering thing then your first field of the your all the tables should be uuid that row 16 type of field should be available then only you 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 can use the early, early numbering in managed scenario with the framework but in this case since we don't have that first field as a row 16 type or UUID type, unique, universal, unique identifier type. So what we will do, we will write the code to handle our own numbering. So we have already started in my last and we have created method for the travel ID and we will write now the code inside that method. Not only in that method, we will create the uh, to another method for the booking and booking supplement also to handle the numbering. So whenever we create new travel instance, new booking instance and new booking supplement instance, the automatically number will be generated and given to that particular instances. Let's get started. We directly jump into the system and start with our programming. In my last video, to implement the early numbering in our manage application, we have written in characteristic part the keyword called early numbering. And since we are doing the early numbering and we are giving the travel ID field internally. So I have made this particular travel ID field as a read only. We have created one method in our handler class YBP travel take M. In local types, you can see in our handler class early numbering method for create early numbering. You can say in method name is early numbering underscore create. We have created this method, but we didn't implement it any code. Before implementing any code in method, you have to see the importing and exporting parameter as I told you in my last video also. You can see we are importing the entities. This early numbering method, as I told you in last video also, it will get the multiple entities. Even you are creating the single travel instance, the this method will think you can get multiple travel instances as well. So it will not send a single travel instance, it will send as entities. So you have to handle this particular thing as a table. It's not the single thing. So even through you are getting the single thing from front end, but you have to handle as a table. And as, as I told you, if you do F2 on that particular function or method, we can say in this, you can see this is a table which can handle the multiple travel instance. So in that way, using this method, in real time, if you are calling through another class, you can create the multiple travel entities, not only single entities, but in this case, the front end only will send the one entry. So you can see this is the derived type. Derived type, as I told you, it will be having the serious entity field plus additional field. So in this case, type table of create. So in this derived type, we have the all the fields apart from that some percentage field CID, which will be handling the primary key uh, until and unless primary key is not available till that time we will be having some value cid so we can uh, we can find out with which instance we are working on currently so that is the cid content id we call that will automatically generated by framework when you work with fury if you are working in unmanaged scenario you have to create your content id your own so this should be unique for each instance until unless until the primary key is not created, we will use this CID to handle this particular travel instance, which we are going to create. So I told you control also, what all are the field we are ch ch changing those, uh, uh, which field got changed that we can see using the control. We will see in the debug mode also. These are the component group. Uh, this component group will be having the these values only and we can easily handle as i told you uh, those to, to access any field or to update any field that is the reason key will be having all key field data will be having all non key field and this is how we can have this since it is a table so we can have the primary key and secondary key for this particular table 
so type table for create so even you will create uh, your local data type using this type table for create it will give the same kind of structure to you so you have to make sure so this is how this particular importing parameter is there in the same way as i told you in last video also we have the implicitly all three parameter mapped failed and reported these are the type response of mapped early type response of failed early type response of reported early these are the type and th these types are by default uh, derived type if you open the derived type this will be having this particular for example mapped this will be having these three all the entities which you which you are using in this particular business object and these each entity will be the derived type if you open this derived type it will be having content id and the travel id content id will have and con initially the travel id will be blank we have to fill this travel id in this mapped uh, mapped scenario because as soon as you fill the travel id in mapped when you you want to enter the some uh, primary key field for your instance so in this case you have to fill this map uh, if you are you have to generate one new number and you have to fill that particular travel id field and you have to send back in that case it will automatically updated in front end and since it is not editable you can't edit there but it will be generated by this numbering method and we have to generate new number and we have to fill in this particular derived type here this particular content id as is we have to pass same for which content id uh, what travel id we are passing we have to pass the travel id number then it will be updated in front end in the same way we have failed and reported entity if you see the de derived type of the failed we have to pass the cid something goes failed uh, for which cid got failed and uh, uh, if you have travel id you can pass the travel id Ob obviously if it is failed the, you will be not having any travel id so no need to pass but at least you have to pass the cid uh, for which cid got failed and in reported method if you can see if something got failed we can pass the uh, cid along with we can pass the percentage message something is there uh, this is failed one let me see the reported one Oh, this is failed one let me come back and let me open the reported one so you have something called percentage messages we can pass the uh, message class here and from that message class automatically message will be derived a uh, message class instance we can pass that will be derived a uh, message will be automatically derived from message class instance and it will be displayed in the front end we will see this also if something errors happen so th that's how we have to handle the importing and exporting parameter so as soon as you start the implementation of any method you have to see mandatorily your importing and exporting parameter now we will start with the our implementation this particular early numbering create method will be called one time only for one view object in the non draft scenarios but in the draft scenario it will be called two time so you have to make sure we will discuss about more about the draft scenario and when it will be called in during the draft scenario the key field will be already assigned so we have to make sure whenever we are getting the entities uh, from the this particular importing parameter if key field is already assigned so we have to delete this all the key uh, those entries which is key is already assigned we have to consider only the known key where the key is not assigned so that Thing, since we are going to use this same application uh, for our draft application to creating the draft as well so we have to handle that kind of thing also so what i will do i will get this all the entities in the temporary table or temporary internal table and i will delete those entries where key is already assigned so for doing that that's like normal ABAP programming no need to worry you have to clear declare one uh, internal table lt underscore entities and you have to pass your all the entities uh, control space you can see important parameter entities control space and enter entities you can pass all the entities you can pass again this is the internal table as i told you so that is the reason i have given the internal table shift f1 so what i will do from this lt entities control c f2 if you do f2 here wherever the travel, travel id is initial i will delete those entities so i what i will do control c delete delete this particular ent entities where the travel id control space is is not initial is not initial means there is some value shift f1 
So now we will be having only those entries where the travel ID is really not there. Now what I want to do for these all the travel IDs, uh, in this case there will be always one and travel uh, travel instance. So I have to create generate the travel ID. So in this case I will generate the travel ID using the uh, our uh, numbering concept in the classical lab app. So if you see here Control Shift A. One of the standard numbering is that demo travel underscore m, not this one, sorry, control shift a demo travel underscore m. This is numbering object we call. Using this numbering object, we will generate automatically next number. So, this is the numbering object. I can create my own numbering object also in this uh, in this particular application. The problem is that for the num for those numbering, I am not able to create the intervals because I don't have uh, that particular access in this demo environment. So that is the reason I will be going to use same this numbering object to gener generate next number uh, which they are using in their demo scenario. So you can also use this same numbering object. You can create your own numbering object also and you can create your own uh, uh, what we can say intervals also. So I will give you one link where we can you when we where we can create this numbering object and travel instead using programming as well. We have to call those one particular class to create the numbering object and create the interval also we have to call one particular class and it will automatically create and that numbering object also you can do but I don't want to put that effort uh, here since we are uh, learning the normal uh, not learning the numbering concept here so we will gonna use this particular numbering uh, numbering object only so what i will do uh, we have one class using that class we can get uh, next number is for the requirement that so the class is cl underscore number range control control space controls number range object and we have to call the this class gate abap language or read update one second not this one let me see what is the class i have noted down cl number range runtime this is the class so i have written the step so i should not miss anything so will you gonna use this numbering object to get the next number we will use this class cl number range runtime so you have to remember this class number range runtime okay this is the last class shift enter you have to do and you have to call the get next number method a number gate method to get your next number shift enter you have to do here you have to pass the number range object in our case the number range object is demo travel underscore m control c and control v we can create our as i told you our number range object also but i don't want to put that much effort and the number range we can pass here is a 10 and importing parameter it will return us control shift greater than uh, the number latest number suppose i have passed uh, current number in the travel id is the 4500 and i i request it for next three numbers so this number will be 503 so in this case it will add those three number and it will give the after adding the new number so in this case I will do the inline declaration and I will say LV underscore uh, latest number I can say latest num latest num and uh, this will be code if something goes wrong we will have we will be getting the error LV code and the quantity how much quantity it have returned us that uh, that will be given here data so LV underscore qty so we have to pass how much quantity you have required that you have to pass so how much entities in this case in this table is available uh, how much travel instance you want to create for that particular uh, object that you have to pass so we have to get here uh, the lines lines function we have to use for this particular table instance but in this case what is the error we are getting here okay so these both are not similar kind of time whatever uh, it is having this is the num type i think so we can convert this one uh, this data whatever it is coming we can convert this data to the num c type whatever the lines we are getting from here 
so i think so we'll get will not shift f1 will do and we have to implement the try catch block also mandatorily uh, always implement the try catch if something goes wrong or runtime error happen so you you have to handle your all the messages here but as of now i will not handle just i will put try catch block uh, try catch block and i will handle after once we will get appropriate result shift f1 and we got this what we did for how many travel instances you want the numbers how many numbers you want basically suppose i want to create three travel instances i will pass the three here i will get after those three addition as i told you five five the for example current number is 4500 so it will return us for 4503 Uh, code will return zero if no error and quantity how many it got returned after adding three it got returned so it quantity will be will be quantity so we have to make sure that whatever the returned quantity and whatever the number of lines both should be same uh, then only we can assign so we can use one assert statement to make sure they both are same assert means it will make sure if it is not assert statement it will be quantity whatever we are getting this should be equal to this one whatever lines we have to control c shift f1 control f3 so like that we have to make sure that the the quantity which we need how many new number we need and uh, new number we need and whatever the return quantity both are same sometime what happen the interval maintain from 1000 to 1999 so next number is not available only the only next num number available for current number is suppose 1997 so it will return it will be able to return only two number so we have to make sure both are equal then only we have to further proceed otherwise we have to give the appropriate error so that is the reason we want to make sure if interval is not sufficient for us then we should give some appropriate error that is the reason we want to just want to check the both the quantities should be similar so now what i have to do i have to loop through my uh, entities which i got in this case this one which is not having the any key field so i will do the loop loop statement control space you can do uh, loop at assigning or oh, i will use the field symbol not an issue control v shift f1 i will not use field symbol i will use the data element that will be better i don't want to change anything run time in from the lt underscore instance so loop at the rate lt entities into this data ls underscore ls underscore entities e n t i t i e s entities and what i will do shift f1 i want to fill the map table as i told you uh, you have to fill the map table that particular f2 if you do here f2 map table to fill your key field in this if you see the map table type of this one so i have to create some type of this table type or i can create for this one also that is also fine to fill the this particular data so what i will do one data i will declare as of now data control v uh, ls this will be type though so i can say lt local travel taken type which should be mapped early okay uh, this is the table so let me see again if i do have to derive type i have created this table so i have to fill this table now uh basically i should not fill this table i have to just append the entries in this particular table uh, if we have multiple entries are there so in this case what i will do uh so control c i have to create one line also type of this one to handle this kind of scenario so ls so let me control v i will be having one line ls travel take him the like like line of like line of let me see i can create like this or not control v okay oh type line of like i forgot the syntax sorry one second like line control v 
if I create like this, then it will create the internal table is invalid. The statement ls travel take com is invalid. Check the spelling. One second, I have to put comma like line of. Now it is correct. That is syntax is correct, obviously. Uh, then I have to fill this particular. If you see the what is the what data we have to fill, we have to fill the CID and travel ID. Let me fill this C control C. So C CID will be the same control V. This should be like a uh, value. I can use the inline declaration again value and has I can do and I can pass you. You are not aware about the new syntaxes how what I am using. You can go through my new syntax series where I have explained each and every new syntax available. So I'm even here I am I'm not using completely new syntax. Uh, we are declaring local. We no need to declare also. I will show you how to do. So we will pass this CID is this the CID or for this CID. What is the travel ID that also we will pass. So what I will do enter. Uh, this is the CID and control space you will do and we have the travel ID we have to pass and travel ID we have we have to generate new one. So what will be the, our table for getting the new travel ID? We have latest number. Suppose we go to the three number. So what I have to do to get the current number. So LV data. I will create one LV current number C U R R underscore N U M number you have to get the your latest number and minus the how many quantity you got control c then you will get the current number which is you already have created after this what i have to do to get the next number i have to do equal to control v plus 1 or uh, we can use new syntax again here if you want to equal to plus equal to also you can use like this now it is like like we use in other languages so it will add one new number here both way is correct so let me use older way only uh, so what i will do equal to only and plus one and i will pass this current number here and i will close this one now what I will do, I will append this entry in my map table. So to access this one, so what I can do, append control V, oh not this one, control C, control V, control V, or yeah, copy new control C, control V to append to this particular mapped is there, mapped and table take him okay this is the table is there i will append this entry to this one so this is how we have to fill the map table so i created and i have appended the entry in this particular and for the all the entities like that i can fill this for that particular id newly for next number also i will do the same we will do we will see in the debug mode also no, no need to worry and one other another way you can do instead of de doing like this if you don't want to do like this if you want to write in one line that is one another way append uh, this value whatever we have in control c control v let me remove this one and this one directly i want to append append this value to this particular control C okay let me go down a little bit control V like that also you can do so this is another way so one line we do everything but it was not understandable in that case you don't need to declare this also control C plus one so that is the way I just want to show you so you will not get confused if I write this one line directly you will you might get confused that what I have written so that is the reason I have declared explicitly and uh, I have appended the CID and travel ID in this particular travel so like that way if we have multiple entities one by one all the new new number whatever we have generated we will fill here let me do control F3 so we have done this one we created we have mapped that also uh, error handling we will do the after some time but just see 
is this really this method is working for that let me do control f3 let me put one breakpoint before putting one breakpoint you have to right click on your project and go to properties and you have to go to the your ABAP development and you have to go to debug make sure you have selected this one for external debugging so that's very important otherwise your external debugger will not trigger so you have to whatever your user id is there you have to paste here and you have to apply that one then only it will trigger the uh, external de debugger otherwise it will not trigger in this i have already external debugger let me put one breakpoint and let me go to the uh, my application and see it is triggering or not control app 3 I will put one more breakpoint here also. So make sure it is initially itself it will trigger. So let me add here my debugger perspective also. Let me go one time at least inside. Sometime it will not trigger automatically. So I want to make sure it is trigger. So let me come back to ABAP perspective. I put the breakpoint both the places for instance authorization it will trigger first when we click on go button and after that uh, when we create new instance this will also will trigger. Okay okay so let me put breakpoint here as well so it will trigger here here itself so what i will do now let me go to my application and run my application so for that i need my let me do f5 here to so load all the objects and let me go to my business service service binding and this is the my service binding let me preview my application little bit come down select the travel take him and preview it it will preview my application it's taking little bit time uh, since might be we are loading for first time as soon as i click on go button it will trigger the debugger because it is checking the authorization we put the uh, we put the breakpoint on authorization the breakpoint only trigger if you selected that setting for user id you have to fill the user id for the external breakpoints internal breakpoint normally trigger no, no need to worry so i will do f8 here so i came to again application let me create new instance so this time you can see travel id is a non editable so you can give agency id you can customer id i mean you can give any starting date you can give any end date booking fee usd 500 and any description also you can give test numbering or all station open let me click on create uh, here we have create and cancel button you might be not able to see but once you create your application you just have to click on create button it will trigger the breakpoint again we reach to our method so we, you can see LT entities, entities, this is our table. Okay, you can see this LT entities have as of now no entity. So let me click on entities. Entities, we have only one entity. So this is again one entity, one table we can see, but I can't see here my table. Let me do F5, some wrong columns I want to see, you can see here. These are the columns and table data. I don't have any data till now in entities. Let me see. Yeah, I have already CID, but why it is not displaying here? It should display something wrong. Debug sale, ABAP internal table debugger. Okay. It will display, don't worry, let me do F5. So you can double click, if it is not displaying, you can double click and you can check here also. Uh, it might be displaying, I was, no, I'm not able to see, I'm not sure. But you can see the one CID, as I told you, content ID automatically created you got only one entry in this internal table because we are creating one travel instance so you have cid here you have travel id initial or whatever the all the other data we have filled you can see here easily and since it is the deep structure i i told you the control structure also got filled so what all are the data you have filled in the uh, control uh, what uh, in your front end it marked as a one and others are zero since you didn't fill the travel id it is zero zero other data is zero one you can see so this is how the control also we can see in the debug mode and uh, the data also we can see CID okay this is how the entity look like in the debug mode so we have copied all the data in LT entities oh let me click here 
what happened here why i can't see i can see the columns here that is column type table data why i can't see there is some issue little bit issue okay now i can see i have increased size okay you can see now the table data also entities also you can see here this is the entities all the information you can see and lt lt underscore entities also you can see here so i have copied all the data in some cases uh, if uh, the travel id is already assigned i don't need to consider that particular entry in this particular tape in this particular method so i am deleting uh, from this lt entities where travel id is not initial so in this case it will not delete anything now i will call this numbering method uh, f5 let me do f6 there is some error there uh, so i didn't catch any error i think i passed this number range is a wrong it should be one uh, this particular number range number interval is not available uh, only one is available uh, let me do one thing f8 something wrong i got some error or not there is some uh, runtime error happen assertion failed and we if you want to see this particular runtime error uh, you can uh, go to direct debug mode from here one uh, one pop-up will come uh, and like uh, in st22 we can go like that uh, abap runtime error pop-up will come let me show you if it can come or let me take a screenshot for you guys so not like this uh, windows shift has so i'm taking one screenshot for you guys so you can see this one so i got this pop-up in the corner you can see this one uh, and at the right hand corner here i where my you can see my photo i this particular pop-up you will get you have to click on the debug it will go directly take you to debug mode and if you are not able to see this block you can come to the your you have to go to ABAP perspective again and you have to open your feeder uh, view. So view other and feed reader view. Here you can see, you can open here anywhere this particular view and you can see there is currently six runtime error. This is the runtime error which occur on today and you can see this is the sort dump happened due to some number range issue. Where it happened you can see. Uh, you can see the detail over here basically so i know why because this number range interval is not available that is the reason we got the dump uh, i have used wrong wrong number range ideally what you have to do uh, you have to handle this kind of messages so what you have to do here if something goes wrong so you have to handle into so i got uh, i allo underscore error error and you have to report this error to front end runtime dump is a, a runtime error is not good into data you have to declare sorry so runtime error is always not good so you have to declare the uh, your you have to catch those exceptions and you have to give the appropriate error to do the error handling what we have to do uh, we have to fill the failed and reported table so we will fill the same way how we have filled our mapped table so let me copy this code control c instead of declaring the explicitly data and uh, structure i will just map i will instead of writing the mapped i will write the control space once again control z why it is not deleting delete and control space you can write here failed control space sorry guys uh, failed f control space you can do and now you will get failed in this one and cid we have and we have to loop through the table in this case also so same way we will loop through the table control c because if we have multiple entities in that case we have to loop through the table and end loop we have to do and in this case we will pass the cid and we will be not having travel id we have to pass the key field here back so key is a group what all are the key you got same key you have to pass back so this will be helpful when we have the cid and key field together but in this case that is not the case but still to make sure you pass correctly so you have to use the correct thing 
so this is how we have to pass the failed messages same way you have to pass the reported in the reported you have to pass along with the uh, in the failed we just pass that what key field got failed and in reported what we will pass we will pass that what is the actual error message which we have got so you have to copy this one control v and instead of failed we have to use reported control space you can do enter and we have to pass on additional field here percentage masses ms control space you can see but control space i can't do here but still i know the masses field is there but uh, if you don't know you can declare explicitly that time you get the value help also that is the advantage so in this case uh, percentage message i will pass directly this instance which we got error control c this error instance so error will be derived from this particular uh, object and it will be displayed in the front end let me do swift f1 and control f3 so runtime dump is not good always you have to make sure you have to handle all the try catch block appropriately so what i will do control f3 and i will try to rerun my application this time i should not get dump instead of dump it should give me appropriate error message so let me go here and we have to one more thing we have to do we have to exit from here uh, not only exit from this particular program as soon as we got this kind of error not here we have to write it will exit from loop control x i want to exit from program itself shift f1 this method itself let me see what it is happening and let me recreate my particular instance and see if something got changed or not uh, let me put re control f3 and let me put breakpoint again what is this is saying breakpoint is not effective because it is inactive activation failed there is some error it is saying uh, i have to see what is the error okay i go i know what is the error i have already declared this uh, data instances so i have to remove this data here because i have declared above so i can't declare multiple times so let me do now because i have declared here so i can't declare multiple times same work area control f3 this time i should it should be activated i think it got activated control f3 one more time i will do active object generated that's it so let me put breakpoint again let me remove this one and put again and let me rerun my application uh, refresh my application first because the code got changed let me come back click on go button okay it will check authorization let it check f8 f8 i didn't give any authorization code as of now so that's fine uh, let me click on create button again fill this all the detail uh, 7001 something i can fill start date end date booking fee uh, i can give usd or any other currency usd usd 500 i can use here description something i can give as of now overall status is open and let me create now it will trigger the breakpoint so you can see it now we have the all the entities it will delete in this case it will not delete let me double click here f6 uh, this time we have handled cage properly we got the dump you can see here this sign also exception occur let me do f5 we are looping through entities i'm passing the cid I pa I'm passing the key also if in this case the key is blank so no need to worry uh, and I'm passing the reported message as well in the reported white travel taken you can see this entry we are passing the the message class where we have get the error so like that we are doing for one entry and we are exiting from this particular method and that's it I think since let me do F8 now and let me see if we have got appropriate masses you can see instead of dump this time we got the appropriate interval 10 does not exist for the object like, like the same error we are getting so we have to change the interval for this object the i think interval number one is available i will put inter interval one so let me go and change the interval number instead of 10 i will put one or 0 1 i think we have to put 
So 0, 1 we will put as an interval and let me activate my code, control F3 and rerun my code again. So in this case, I have fixed the issue. I think I have to refresh the application again or let me try to click on create. It will not work. Obviously, we will get dump again. Uh, let me see if again if it is working or we are getting dump. Okay, this time we didn't get dumped because we have fixed, fixed through the code and it didn't go to the cache. So now the quantity and LT number of entities we know it is one, the LV quantity should be one. So you can see, so assert will work here. If their assert also will fail, then you will get the dump or you have to handle the accordingly. So you have to handle all these things the real time, but currently uh, I don't want to handle all the things. So LV latest number you can say 4170 is the latest number. As soon as you will create new instance, the 4170 will be created. And so I want to get whatever the current number is available that I will get in the LV current number. So current latest number is 4169 in the system. Next one will be the 4170. So I needed one. So latest number they have given 4170. If you want to create with that, then you have to create with 4170. So in some case, I want to create multiple travel instances. So this code is relevant. If we, in that case, I would have get 4172. If, if I requested for three travel instance, 4772 and I would have given three and I have to 4172 minus 3 then again I will get 4169 and in that case I have to create the three travel instances one by one always plus 169 70 71 and 72 but in this case it only we have one so we got the current number and we have added that one number again here and we are just appending that particular entry uh, in this particular our mapped table and it will work if you do F8 here and if you come to front end uh, I think I did have or it got the authorization object let me do app at it's checking before the creation it is just checking you have authorization owner with the 4170 new travel got instance code created it the number is generated internally internally we didn't generate this number so this is how the internal numbering work if you you can see that data again and again this triggering let me remove this breakpoint from here and let me do app it and you can see let me do the descending order and you can see 41770 which just now we have created now what we will do we will do the same numbering thing for booking and booking supplement as well to write the booking and booking supplement related code first we have to modify our behavior definition language so what we have to do uh, like in same way how we did for the travel uh, travel entity for the booking or entity also we have to say we are doing the early numbering for this and uh, we have to make sure in this case not only the travel id our booking id also should be readable not editable mode it should not open uh, in editable mode so in that case uh, let me copy this booking id control c uh, co the particular field read only not only travel id the booking id field also should be read only and I will implement the early numbering in the same way I will do for this uh, booking supplement also and uh, in this case booking ID travel ID and booking supplement ID control space booking supplement ID all three should be readable so I have to generate the method so as I told you I have already created separate separate class for booking and booking sub supplement let me generate method as of now there is no code available in the booking and booking supplement let me do for plus con first control f3 for the behavior definition uh, i will get the warning if you do control f2 i should get the warning because uh, i didn't implement you can see i can see here the early numbering method is not uh, there for this particular maintaining the uh, when creation time it's the early numbering method for booking supplement and booking should be available let me generate one one method for both of them you have to click control one oh no you have to click on control one so you can see aid early number method for creation it will aid automatically one early number method for the booking same way we have to do for booking supplement also control one aid early number method for create booking supplement 
इट विल एड वन अर्ली नंबर मैथड फॉर बुकिंग सप्लीमेंट बट दिस टाइम इट विल एड इन द बुकिंग वेन आवर द नॉट इन द आवर मेन ट्रेवल क्लास इट विल एड इन द बुकिंग क्लास यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दिस विल हैपन दिस विल बी क्रिएटेड so you can see the association i, I didn't talk much about the association we'll discuss more about association create in next video so in this case you can see since we are creating this booking supplement with the association with the booking so that is the reason the method is generated in the booking entity and for this method is generated in the travel entity so you have to make sure where method is generated so in this case it got generated in the booking entity for booking supplement and for the travel entity it got generated in the in the uh, for the booking entity it got generated in the travel class so let me activate both the classes control f3 and this also let me activate control f3 alt 3 this is okay alt 3 this video again becoming little bit longer in my next video what we will do we will start with the read operations what all are the abap eml read operations related to the eml language can do that we will learn first and then we will implement the booking and booking supplement method along with the read operation will be needing because we have to read with association in those method so we have to understand how we can read the business objects using the entity manipulation language of abap that we will learn first and then we will start we will develop the booking and booking supplement method as well and we will do the early numbering using them before going to those videos please like this video share this videos with others as well and whatever you have you are feeling about these videos please write it down in comment section with that thank you and happy learning